Hey guys, I want to make this video for you to inspire you and give you some tips on how to overcome challenges that might be in your way, particularly mental challenges. Um, I'm going to talk about this Diamond member who joined the call this week. Now, he's already graduated, right? He's, he's already doing great. He's already graduated from the Diamond program. And uh, as a lot of Diamond members will do, though, they'll keep coming to the calls because they get so much out of these group calls. They're amazing. So he was in there to hear the other guys to learn as well as share his experiences. And uh, so let me give a little background on him. So 38 years old and has had erectile dysfunction, or at least had erectile dysfunction, since he was 18. So 20 years he had erectile dysfunction. And when he showed up for that first call with me, um, you know, we do a four-hour assessment, that first meeting diving into every aspect of your erection ecosystem all through IPM on your erection ecosystem so we can see exactly where the problems are coming from so we can design a customized plan and you can get there much quicker that way and we coach you along the way so I have never seen a guy more serious about turning this around and uh, just absorbing everything from that first call that first call this guy, he just like, he soaked it all up. He, under, he Every little bit of information I gave him, he's like, he took notes and then he took massive action that first week. Um, and he just had great results his first week. Now it's not like he turned everything around, but after 20 years of ED, he was having success his first week. And it was just, it was so exciting. And, um, you know, as the weeks went on, just like anything, success is not a straight line. So some weeks are better than others, but overall, the overall progress keeps going up, right? And he just keeps making these great results. And then all of a sudden, I get this, uh, I get this uh, report from him that he had this erection failure and he got upset about it. So I coached him through that. I'm actually gonna save that story for another time because that is a great story that's in depth but I want to talk about what he talked about this week and this plays into your default state your default setting so he went on um, uh, I'm sorry yeah he went on vacation with this girl with his his woman and had this erection failure and then his woman is like you were you were different during this time you know you were not going for the things you want i could not feel the same kind of desire that i felt out of you since you've been working with the diamond program what's going on and uh he says you know i've been building this up in my mind this vacation i wanted this vacation to be super special you know and uh and i got in my head about it and which is fascinating to me and it can certainly happen but when you build something up in your mind like that, it can really work against you. It all depends on what you're anticipating, right? So his, what he was thinking about is, you know, I gotta, you know, I gotta be rock hard. I gotta do, you know, I gotta make an amazing experience for her, putting a lot of pressure on himself. So he was anticipating his performance, right? It, if instead he would have been anticipating what he's gonna be able to do to his woman and what they're gonna be able to share together, that would have been a whole different experience. That would have ramped up his arousal. That would have got him ready in there, you know? Um, but instead, he got in his head about it. And the beautiful thing about it is his woman's been on board the whole time. So she, you know, this particular Diamond member talks to her about our calls. So she's learned a lot about this. So she was able to coach him out of it. Right? She's the one that pointed out to him, you know, you're, you're being too timid. You're, you're not going for the things you typically you want, like you've been since you've joined the Diamond program. And ever since that time, right, they had that conversation. They've been having awesome sex. So he got on this call, and what he told me was that he's had only one erection failure since November. He had one in November, and... They were able to kind of laugh it off and turn it around and it became an erection anyway.
right? Because he, he didn't, he knew how to get out of it. See, that's, that's the important thing. If you have an erection failure, especially with a partner, it's not that difficult to get out of it if you know how, right? I mean, to turn it around and get the erection back. Focusing on the sexual keys versus focusing on performance, right? And with that last little coaching from his woman, he really got that. He had it before, but she had to kind of point it out to him what he was doing that was different. And ever since that time, he had won that one erection failure, which actually became an erection. But what he got onto the call wanted to talk about is that this used to be the opposite. With he and his woman, it was like they were amazed if he, if he got an erection, right? If he ever got an erection that was even somewhat hard enough to penetrate, it was like a special thing. But now they're amazed if he doesn't get a rock hard erection, right? That threw them off. And that's what he wanted to talk about. It's just like his whole default state has changed, right? For years, for 20 years, he thought of himself as a guy with erectile dysfunction, right? And now he thinks of himself, because he is, he thinks of himself as, you know, a rock star in the bedroom with no problems. Because while a problem may come up occasionally, like they had that one problem in November, he knows how to turn it around, right? So now his default state is rock star in the bedroom, not man with erectile dysfunction, okay? And I wanted to bring that up to you because how you think about yourself makes a big difference, man, especially if you've been going through erectile dysfunction for a long time and you keep labeling yourself with that, right? When you can have these wins consistently and it starts turning things around then you start moving into what i call a virtuous cycle right now everything's reinforcing each other right now he's able to focus on the right stuff he's getting aroused he's feeling the pleasure the erections are coming on the fact that the erections are coming on gives him more confidence feels good about going to the bedroom and it keeps reinforcing each other versus erectile dysfunction which is a vicious cycle right I don't know, am I going to be able to get hard? I'm losing my erection. What's going on? And then you're scared to go in the next time. And you keep thinking about your erections and your performance, which is counterproductive to performance. So, yeah, starting those virtuous cycles, right? And those come from those wins and realizing that you're way more than this issue you're having. And being open with your woman about it, you know, this guy was perfect for the diamond program because he took such massive action. He got results so quickly and his, his uh, woman was on board from the very beginning and she learned. So now she can help him when uh, things aren't going quite so well, right? Which is very rare for them now. So, of course, he had the advantage of the diamond program where you go through the uh, assessment and you get this personalized plan you work with me personally or with one of my coaches. So if you're interested in that and wanting to get the results quickly and something personalized to you and get all your tracking done so you get those results quickly, click on the link below that says four pillars. And that will tell you about how the coaching program is super awesome and uh, how it's different from the formula and foundations. But either way, Just keep taking action, relaxing, be open with your partner so she can be on your team rather than hiding things from your partner, okay? Post in the inner circle or hop on a call, talk to our team and let us know about what's going on, okay? So that we can keep you motivated and keep you progressing. All right, I hope you got a lot out of this uh, particular story and I will talk to you next time.